So as you guys know, what Mark's done here is he's got a back reel system in this rod and reel that he's been creating for over 30 years, which prevents line twist. This line is coming off the reel the exact same way it was wound on by being able to back reel like that. So when we pull this jig up after this uh, fish has landed, I'm not gonna have to unspin all my line. The knot didn't take a bunch of abuse. And uh, it's just a very fun way to sit here and play this fish with the back reel. I've got my finger on a wheel on the other side, applying the necessary pressure. Alright guys, good morning and welcome to another episode with Real Hustle, or as you might know it, part two of the Big Fish Reservoir. This jawjacker never popped all night until 6.45 a.m. It's probably 7 now. There's a fish there. It took us 15 minutes to get out of bed. I'm going to go ahead and reel it in and see what it looks like. First fish of the day, can't complain. We, we thought it was going to be a total dink because it popped and it just wasn't really going crazy. Yeah, it's actually a nice fish. Mr. Mark Armstrong with Ice Fire Jigs is going to be uh, joining us today. Pretty cool looking buck. We're just going to send him back down the hole. And he's off. Negative 20 on the way here. All right guys, so Mr. Mark Armstrong just showed up with his ice fire systems. He brought me two of them and he brought me a pack of jigs. I'll show you guys what they look like right after this, but I'm gonna get both of these rods set up. It's his ice fire system. We should be spinning the wheel a bit and uh, hopefully landing some big fish. So stay tuned guys. All right, guys, my first fish of the day. I was just setting my other jaw jacker, looked back, this thing was going. It's cold, just gonna get them back. Now, Benny, I do have a couple more rods with me with a narrow handle. Okay. So if those stick for any reason till I get you the adapter. Tyler's on fish number two for himself. I was trying to eat my peanut butter and crackers. Now the brownie. Big one. All right, it's probably a nice 20 inch brown right there. Fat, plump, not one of those skinny ones like yesterday. All right guys, so I'm gonna go get Gage, Mark's dog, and we're gonna uh, get back here and start bending these rods, so. All right, guys, Mr. Mark Armstrong, white jig. A nice little brown. He's small. Just gonna get him back.
Oh, it's a little guy. It's a dinker. You little My first fish on the ice fire. I'm just gonna let him go. All right, guys. Tyler just got popped. Big old female. 20, 21 inch female. Uh, my first rainbow of the day. Just gonna get her back. All right guys, Mr. Mark just got smashed. Minker. There's Mr. Mark's fish. We're just gonna go ahead and let this nice little brown go. I haven't seen a smile on your face like that in a while. <laughs> Trying to get a visual on him. I don't know if it's Connor McGregor or Mike Tyson. He's either a little scrappy or he's big and bulky. I think this fish is almost ready to come through the hole. Oh, you there. All right, guys, just got this nice female, probably about 19 inches, but solid. Mr. Mark's white uh, ice fire jig works once again, and the ice fire system caught the fish. So we're going to get her back next. Look at the glitter on the head, how oh, it sparkles. All right, guys, Mark's on to a good one. I love ice fishing. <laughs> one revolution is one foot of distance. It's a 4.1 retrieve. You don't need a fast retrieve ice fishing. You know, when you're ice fishing, you're, you're stuck to 10 inches. So you got to have a reel that'll do everything. Coming up? Yep. What a scrapper. Yeah, a little fighter. There he is, guys. Mark's diamond white ice fire jig caught this nice buck brown. He's probably 18 or 19, but he was a little scrapper. Here he goes. You're on. All right, guys, I just got hit. My third fish on the ice fire today, Mark just released that brown. Fighting like another brown, if I were to guess. So he's shaking his head and whatnot. Hot. You. Of course it's gonna go off when I'm doing some shit. To a female cut bow. All right, guys, there she is on the ice fire jig and system once again. We're gonna go ahead and let this fish go. Didn't even get a chance to set my other rod. Got smacked again. Is this one good to go? Close. I'm sweating, guys. I'm running rod to rod. Mark's jigs are just on fire. Oh, it's a little guy. I'm gonna go ahead and drop him in. I know you got twist, twisted a little. Tyler's on a fish on the ice fire system. Hard to tell yet, but might be one of his bigger ones on the system. A lot of fun playing him on the wheel, isn't it, Tyler? Mm hmm.
Nope, that is not plugged. Got this nice trout. It's a 22, just over 22. Gonna go let Mr. Mark have this one for the smoker. So that fish measured just over 22. Mark wanted to try and keep a fish or two to smoke, so uh, we actually let him keep that fish. Nice brown. All right, just got this nice male brown. It's got a little thickness to him. Just gonna get a slow-mo and get him back. Got this nice rainbow here. Wow. Look at that. There's a fly in his fin. Who's out here trying to snag these fish, huh? <laughs> Spinner. No more line twist. No more knot erosion. I just seen a poof of snow over here when he hit. <laughs> <laughs> that was literally a touchdown pass when was I was it going down? It was all the way down, Mark. Oh really? I didn't Under. see I didn't yeah. see the rod anymore. And I, I just said the heck with it. I just dove in there and felt it. Didn't it. have it pushed down far enough, didn't it? Yeah. We didn't. Nobody looked for those sections I have in the rig. That was sick. I can't believe I got it. I just saw it. I heard the snap. I looked over and I saw it go. Whoop. The rod's working just the way it's supposed to. Yeah, I like it. You know, it's so thin on the tip. It's almost like a wire strike detector. I noticed that. That then it fattens up right here. It's all by request. So as you guys know, what Mark's done here is he's got a back reel system and this rod and reel that he's been creating for over 30 years, which prevents line twist. This line is coming off the reel the exact same way it was wound on by being able to back reel like that. So when we pull this jig up after this uh, fish has landed. I'm not gonna have to unspin all my line. The knot didn't take a bunch of abuse and uh, It's just a very fun way to sit here and play this fish with the back reel I've got my finger on a wheel on the other side applying the necessary pressure Which isn't much I've watched so many videos of you guys catching my TV shows I did and I'm thinking god them rods are only working foot and a half, two feet force, you know. So we're giving it 30 inches at least. I think this fish is almost ready to come through the hole. Tyler just got hit on the ice fire. Been in the wheel, baby. All right, it's been slow. Just got this nice little, probably, I don't know, 12 inch brown, 10 inch or somewhere in there. All right guys, Tyler just got hooked up again. Ice fire. Which ice fire jig are you using? One of his new white ones he just started tying. It's a white and gold. We'll show you guys what it looks like as soon as he gets the fish up.
big bubbles. Oh yeah. Alright guys, there's the Ice Fire White by Mr. Mark. Another beautiful, beautiful cut bow. She's fat. Alright guys, so we're just packing our stuff up. We had a great time spinning the wheel on the ice fire system with Mr. Mark. We're going to zip him back up to his truck, say goodbye to him, load the rest of our stuff from this 48 hour mission and get back to our vehicle and load the sled. So stay tuned. It's not over yet. What do you think, Gagey? Yeah, it's a boy. That's a boy. All right, well, thanks again, Mark, for meeting us and bringing the ice fire system and jigs. I had a great time. We'll see you again soon. You bet. See you, Benny. Later. All right, guys, we got our last load loaded. We left it cleaner than we came, and we're heading back to the truck. I've been sitting on this turd for like 36 hours. Oh, thank God. I feel 100 times better. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this two-part series, Big Fish Reservoir, snowmobile included, overnight fishing mission. We had a great time. Today we got all the ice fire jigs and ice fire systems out there and working full time, so that was sick hanging out with Mr. Mark. And Tyler and I are just getting ready to kick it back home. So thanks again for all the support. I hope you really enjoyed both these episodes, and we'll see you guys in a couple days for another episode with Real Hustle.